Howdy yo folks, hello and welcome to my graveyard. I am your host of the evening, the Cemetery Man from Salem Mass, always taking names and kicking candy ass, live and we call here with you on Grande's Graveyard. Today, got a special package in the mail from one Severn Films. Oh yeah, you know your brother got in on that set, baby. And today we're going to be unboxing. I've already cheated a little bit because I can only really do anything with one hand on this camera. And oh yeah, we've got some cool stuff going on here. First off, we've got, uh, actually, first off, for real, for real, is I appreciate that they package these so cool with these little cotton ball things. That's that's highly appreciated because I don't want any damage being done to my package. So, highly appreciate you, Seven Films. We've got some cool red stickers here, Intervision, and a cool red Severn sticker. I have a couple green ones, and I believe I have a blue one. So, now we've got red. That's my favorite color. That's pretty badass. Red and black, can't go wrong. And... As for the films, we've got some really cool ones here. First up, we're adding to the Lucio Fulci collection, baby, The Devil's Honey. Oh, yeah. Gotta love The Devil's Honey. Really, really cool little Lucio Fulci flick. Very sleazy from what I remember. Um, this is, I'm pretty excited about this. This is a pretty cool release. I've not watched this one in high def at all, so this would be a really, really cool one to revisit sometime down the road soon. And I'm super happy to pick this one up. Next whip we got, this is a film that everybody and their mother has told me is fucking great, and uh, my dumb ass has not seen it yet. This is The Wax Mask, directed by Sergio Stilvati, Stiv Stivaletti, Stivaletti, I'm sorry. Um, he worked a lot with Argento, I believe, on Phenomena, and um, he also worked on Opera, I believe, Demons, Cemetery Man, yeah, it says all on back here. Um... He's awesome, man. I absolutely really, really love him. Um, I, I've heard nothing but good things about this. I know Aiden, Corey, a lot of people have been recommending me to see this one. And it's from 1997. It sounds like a really, really cool flick. So I had to pick this one up. It was super cheap during the sale. I believe Devil's Honey was like 10 bucks, And then this was like... I mean, maybe 17 bucks. It was really, it was some good deals for sure. The next one, the thing, I, the last one is the one I spent most of the guap on. But definitely, I had to get in on this because I've wanted this since the first day they announced it. And for the price it dropped down to, I was like, yo, I have to get this. This is the complete Umberto Lindsay and Carol Baker Jallo collection. Check this shit out. First of all, how cool is this box, man? Wow, like like I love the color scheme. You, you wouldn't think red and yellow would work. It's it's almost like it's like a Hulk Hogan box set, brother. But no, it's it's pretty badass. Got six disc set, four Blu-rays, two CD ROMs of these four films, and I'll I'll unbox the little top here. It it opens up and and it's I will say too, if you're a person that worries about like flimsy box cases or box sets that are gonna like break down over time this is some good fucking hard shit like this is not something that's going to weather down over time i don't think um but we've got the films here i guess first up we've got another sleaze fest just like devil's honey this is orgasmo yes a really really cool one from what i remember this is the only one of the four i've seen but i ended up really really liking this back in the day and this was the reason i sort of wanted to get this entire set i was like yo i really want to pick this up and, and see the other three that I haven't seen. So it's always fun to see sh new shit. Like, and this is the only one of the four that I have checked out. So I was excited to pick this one up on 1080p high def. And I'm sure it's going to look great. They have a ton of special features here. Director's cuts, uh, audio commentary, film critic, author, all that good stuff. So this is really, really cool. Orgasmo on Blu-ray high def. What else we got here? We've got So Sweet, So Perverse. I've not seen this one. I don't even know what this is about, but I'm excited to watch it. God, God, by God. I'm super stoked. This looks really badass. This looks like a fucking neo-noir fucking slasher movie or something. I don't know. This looks badass, though. Definitely going to be giving this one a look. Let's see. Then we've got A Quiet Place to Kill. Pretty cool. I like the cover art here. The little woman in the glass and this guy looking badass. Gotta love Carol Baker. She's awesome. Cool, cool. And last but not least, we have Knife of Ice, which this has best cover art of the four, I would say. I really like this cover art. 
I don't know, I'm a sucker for using, like, multiple colored faces and shit like that. I like representation of color. I also like that the backs all go with the box set. Like, it's the red and yellow color scheme. Pretty cool stuff. I enjoy this. I really, really like this. And I'm excited to add some more Umberto Lindsay films to the collection because he's awesome, whether it be Mountain of the Cannibal God or any of the great movies he's made over the years. It's really nice to add four new movies right at once uh, from his filmography to my collection. Very, very cool stuff. So I'll be checking out all of these, I promise. Um, I'm not sure if the CDs are in the cases here, I'm really not sure, but I could check out later. Not a problem. I'll put it back in order in the meantime. But um, I wanted to say to everybody that watched this, thank you so much. If you guys got in on the Severn sale, let me know what you guys got because it's always interesting and fun to hear what everybody else got and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so for today, that's going to be all. And uh, as I put this all stuff back together, we've got a pretty nice little haul here. Six movies, no regrets, baby. We'll catch you next time only on The Graveyard.